Yeah, look, I think it's a different format tomorrow. They, they, they've played really well last night and they deserve to win. Um, but look, we've, we've played good one-day cricket in the last series in Dubai, so I think we can take a lot of confidence from that, having beaten them in their conditions. But we know it's it's naught for naught when we start tomorrow. And they've obviously got a little bit of confidence from this nice performance and they put in a good performance, so it's going to be a tough, tough assignment for us these next couple of days. Last nice performance is done. It's a different format. There'll be a, a different bowling attack out tomorrow compared to the attack that we had yesterday. I mean, uh, Jacques Callis is back in the side. Um, Imran Tahir will be in the side tomorrow. He's the only spinner we've got in our squad. So, so those are two two different bowlers already out of the five. So, last night's nice bowling performance shouldn't affect or influence the way we rock up here tomorrow. Uh, that's done, and it's not something we, we know we didn't bowl as well as we could have last night, but it's. It's not going to reflect on the way we bowl tomorrow. There might be a few changes, yes. Uh, um, obviously, Jar Callis has made himself available again for ODI cricket, which is very exciting for all of us. Um, gives me a few options as captain as well. Um, there might be a few changes here and there. Uh, we will just have to <laughs> still discuss the, the, the possibilities. There are, are, there are quite a few that makes it quite tough for us. But um, with whatever team we go out there tomorrow, um, I'd just like to see more of that same kind of attitude that we had in the UAE. We want to continue the momentum we're developing in one-day cricket. We want to um, start finalising the structures and, the, and the, the group of players that we go with. And we're going, to, we're going to alternate our bowling attack at various stages. There are one or two guys that will need some sort of a break with another three games coming up against India. So it's, it's all about giving, I suppose, some of the fringe players some game time and experience because should we get to a World Cup or big tournaments, I'd hate to get there and a Dale Stain breaks down the day before and now we hand out a debut to a young bowler. Those backup or fringe bowlers are the guys that need to gain experience and need to play against quality sides so that when they do get under pressure in big tournaments, they can at least fall back on some experience that they've gained in, in uh, competitions like this one. Jacques an amazing cricketer. I think what he will bring to the side is um, a, a lot of calmness, a lot of experience uh, and an all-rounder that I think our all-rounders have all been guys who are bowlers who can bat, and he's obviously equally good at both, which is a, a massive plus for us. And I suppose what AB does in the test side allows us to play an extra batter. I suppose with Jacques Callis in the side allows us to play an extra batter in the one-day side. So it's, it's, a, it's a big plus for us. There's a 2015 World Cup coming around, so um, it's very relevant for us um, that haven't won a, a World Cup before. Um, all the planning and all the energy is going into that at the moment. To, for us to be ready for that big World Cup. Um, we've got some big games now coming up against Pakistan and India and a few more series to follow, but that's definitely the main event. So that makes it very exciting. I think once we lose a World Cup, then um, ODI cricket might be under pressure.